when night has fallen and fear is common, still they're calling me. When faith is lost and my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not good enough, that you're enough for me, I decided. Give up on me Your love is holding on And it won't let go Feel it breaking down Like an echo Your love is holding on And it won't let go Feel it breaking down Like an echo Echo in my soul
because when you move, such an easy thing for you to do. Your hand is moving right now. You are still showing up at the tomb of Mary Lazarus. Your voice is calling me now. Right now, I know you're in. Aren't you glad he is our champion? Amen. He's never lost a battle. And we're on his side. Hallelujah. God is good. I want to get to our offering scripture here this morning. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. I'm going to read this out of the New Living Translation. It says, remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. Aga see on nii, kes kasinasti külvab, sega lõikab kasinasti ja kes rohkesti külvab, see lõikab rohkesti. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. And this is what the Bible is trying to get us to see. Ja Bibel, Bibelist tahetakse meil öelda järgmist. That God wants us to have a generous harvest in life. 
et Jumal tahab, et meil oleks küllislik saak enda elus. And I believe that God wants every one of his kids to prosper. He wants all of his kids to increase financially. He wants our future to be abundantly blessed. But I see believers all the time who struggle financially and it breaks my heart. Aga ma olen sageli näinud, kuidas kristlased võitlevad majanduslikult ja see teeb mu südamele väga haiget. Because I understand what is needed for anyone to be able to prosper. Sest ma tean, et on olemas asjad, mille tõttu me võime õitseda oma elus. And when you do things God's way, you will increase in your life. You will go for, to a better place financially. In Galatians chapter 6, the Bible tells us this. It says, whatever you sow is what you're going to reap. And so this is a Bible principle for many things. Ja see on eri and it includes finances. Ja ka it could also apply to joy. See võib käia ka How many you know when you sow joy, you reap joy? Right, you show up happy, people get happy around you. If you sow forgiveness, people will be more kind towards you. And so this is a Bible principle for everything, including finances. And people who do not sow euros do not reap euros. But if you will sow euros, you will also reap euros in your life. And so if you give generously, the Bible says you will get a generous crop. And so it is important uh, what you sow. Amen. Because what you sow is what you reap. But it's also important how you sow. Because how you sow is how you reap. Sest see viis, kuidas sa külvad, määrab ka, kuidas sa lõikad. And, and again, it, it includes your finances. If you sow a little bit into the kingdom of God, you're going to get a little bit. But I want us as a church and as, as a people to prosper in life. And when we give God what belongs to him, And when we sow finances generously, our God is generously going to provide back to us. The, the Bible tells us that God is looking for people that he can use. And I believe God is looking for people that he can use as financial funnels in the kingdom of God. And so you need to keep your heart right in your giving. I want you to make sure that you never give to get. But that you would, you would give generously. And have the floodgates of heaven be opened up on you. Because you love him, because you're obedient to do what he said. Because you are thankful for all that he has given to you in life. Ja selle tõttu, et sa oled tänulik sellest, mida ta on teinud sinu elus. And when you give generously, ja kui sa annad heldelt, he will bless you. siis ta õnnistab siin. And so money and blessing will come to you when you give to the Lord. See ka raha ja õnnistus tuleb sinu elu, kui sa annad. And I believe that more finances will come into your hands. Ja ma usun, et sinu kätesse tuleb ka rohkem finantsse. And you will manage what God gives you wisely. Ja sa saad olla tark majapidaja selle üle, mida ta on annud sulle. And that's a big one. Amen. Ja see on suur asi. You got to manage what God gives you wisely. Sa pead targalt majandama seda, mis sul on antud. And then you can be a funnel in the kingdom of God. Ja selle läbi sa saad olla ka kanal, et tõnistada Jumala riigis. How many want to be a funnel in the kingdom of God? Kui palju tahad olla kanaliks Jumala riigis? Amen. I want God to be able to pour 
friend to me so I could pour out to others. Ma tahan, et Jumal kallaks minu ellu, et ma saaksin kallata teiste ellu. And I've watched him do it time and time again. Ja ma olen näinud seda, kuidas ta teeb seda aega äärel. And he is faithful. Ja ta on ustav. Amen. Amen. We will continue to do everything that God said that we can do. Ja me teeme jätkuvalt kõike seda, mida Jumal on meile öelnud teha. If we'll just apply these principles to our lives. Ja rakendame neid prinsiipe end elus. Amen. So thank you so much for your giving. See ka suur aitäh teile teie andmise eest. But I'm telling you, it's blessing you more than it is us. Aga teadke, et see õnnistab teid rohkem kui see, kui meid. Because you're keeping the windows of heaven open on your life. Sest Jumal ise avab taeva luugid sinu elu üle. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, today is our sixth part already in our series, Always Amazed, Never Surprised. Täna on siis kuues osa seeriast, alati hämmastunud, mitte kuna küllatunud. And we're, we're talking about when God moves in your life. Ja me räägime siis selles, kuidas Jumal liigub meie elus. That we would always be amazed at what he does. Et me saame olla hämmastunud sellest, mida ta teeb. In the big things, yes, but even in the little things. Nii suurtes kui väikestes asjades. Even when, 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 when on a daily basis we can see that God was helping me today. Ja isegi oma igapäeva elus me võime näha, et wow, Jumal tegutses, Jumal aitas mind. We should always be amazed. Ja peaksime olema hämmastunud. But never be surprised that God would do what he said that he would do. Aga mitte üllatunud, et Jumal päriselt ka sa tegid seda, mida ma palusin. And expect God to do what he promised. Sega oota, et Jumal teeb sinu elus asju. And when you expect God to do it, you will see him do it more and more in your life. Ja kui sa ootad, et ta teeb erinevaid asju, siis sa ka märkad neid asju, mida ta teeb. And so throughout this series, we're talking about some specific things that we can expect God to do for us. Seega läbi selle seere me räägime eri teemadest, mida me võime oodata, et Jumal meie elus esile toob või teeb. And every week we're looking at just a different blessing that is available to us as believers. Ja iga nädal me uurime üht tootust, mida Jumal võib meie elus teha, esile tuua. And the first week we talked about the healing power Ja esimesel nädalal me rääksime Jumala tervendavast väest, mis on meile kätte saada. Kui paljud on tänulikud Jumala tervist tervendava väest. Then we talked about the authority that we have to rule in life. Ja see järal me rääkisime meelevalast, mis meil on selles elus. Kui paljud on tänalikud meelevala eest. Then the third week we talked about the victory that we have in Jesus. Ja kolmandal nädalal me rääkisime võidust, mis meil on Kristuses. Kui paljud on tänalikud võidu eest. Then we talked on the fourth week we talked about God giving us direction in life. Ja neiljandal nädalal me rääksime, et Jumal juhib ja annab nõuandeid meie elus. I'm thankful that God directs us. Me oleme nii tänulikud, et Jumal juhib meid meie elus. And then last week we talked about us being able to expect God's favor on our lives. Ja eelmisel viiendal nädalal me rääkisime Jumala soosingust meie elu üle, mis võib olla meie elu üle. When you have the favor of God on your life, ja et kui sinu elu üle on Jumala soosing, and when you have favor with God, ja sul on Jumalaga koos käies soosing, He will give you favor with God with people. Siis ta annab ka sulle soosingu inimeste kesk. We are not to go after favor with people, we go after favor with God. Me ei pea taotlema soosingut inimestelt, vaid otsima seda Jumalalt. And he gives us favor with others. Ja tema annab see järel ka meil soosingu inimestega. And when you have favor on your life, ja kui su elul on soosing, that means that God is giving you an advantage for success in every situation. Siis see tähendab, et Jumal annab sulle eelise eduks sinu elus. And we need the favor of God. Ja me vajame Jumala soosingut. But today, I, I, we're going we're gonna to see how God will give you the power to prosper financially. Ja täna me uurime siis, kuidas Jumal annab meile väe varanduse hankimiseks või soetamiseks. Say prosper. Ütle uh, edene või jõukus. Prosper. Let's, let's say it. Okay, say it boldly. Ütleme julgelt. Jõukus. Prosper. Amen. We want to... Prosper in life. Me tahame edeneda või olla jõukad elus. And you know what's exciting? Is that we can prosper in life. Ja me peame teadma, et me saame ka olla jõukad. It's not just something that God puts in you as a desire. Jumal ei pane lihtsalt meie sisse mingisuguse ähmase igatsuse. But it is something that can become a reality to you. Vaid see võib saada päris reaalsuseks sinu elus. God wants for you to have all your needs met. Jumal tahab täita kõiki sinu vajadusi ja tahab, et need oleks täidetud. And when we do things God's way, ja kui me teeme asju Jumala viisil, He will meet all our needs. Siis ta ka täidab kõik meie vajadused. And God will bless you. So that others that you know will see how good God is. Et kõik sa ümber võiksid näha, et kui hea Jumal on, see, keda sa teenid. God will help you financially in times where there seems to be no way out. 
Jumal aitab sind ka perioodidel, kus näib, et sul ei ole mitte mingisugust väljapääsu. God wants you to increase so that you could be generous in your giving. Ja Jumal tahab sind õnnistada, et sa oleksid ka nagu helda oma andmises. And God wants you to prosper in everything that you do. Ja Jumal tahab sind nii-öelda kasvatada või panna õitsema kõiges, mida sa teed. And I want you to be always amazed. Ja ma tahan, et sa oleksid alati hämmastunud. But never be surprised. Kui mitte kunagi üllatunud. Amen. I want you to always be thankful. Ma tahan, et sa oleksid tänulik. Always, always be, have, have a heart full of awe towards how good God is to you. Et sa oleksid kui au kartuses Jumale selle tõttu, mida ta teeb. But I don't want you ever to be surprised. Aga ma ei taha, et sa oleksid üllatunud. That he is faithful to do what he promised he would do for you. Et ta on ustav tegema seda, mida ta on sulle tõotunud. And so when we act on God's word. Seega me tegutseme sõna baasil, Jumala sõna baasil. It is going to bring blessing and wealth to us. Ja see toob meile jõukuse ja rikkuse. And God designed faith for you to activate the blessings of the Lord. Ja Jumal andis meile usu, millega aktiviseeruvad siis tema teotused. And when we qualify for the blessings. Ja me kvalifitseerume nendele õnnistustele. And today we're talking about prosperity. Ja täna me räägime jõukusest. When we qualify for prosperity. Ja kui me kvalifitseerume jõukusele. It will be yours. Siis see tähendab, et see võib meie oma olla. Amen. We qualify and we will have it. Me, kui me oleme nagu kvalifitseeruma, siis see on ka meile, kuulub ka meile. And all we have to do is apply the Bible principles. Ja meie osa on ainult kasutada piibli prinsiip, et seda saada. And prosperity will come to you. Ja see ära tuleb ka jõukus meie elu. And whatever your level of faith is right now. Seega olenemata, milline on su usutase. Whatever level of prosperity you have in your life this morning. Või mis iganes jõukuse tasandil sa praegu selle hetkel oled. I'm encouraging you to honor God with what you have. Siis ma tahan, et sa siiski austaksid Jumalat sellega, mis sul on. Amen. Honor God with what you already have. Austa sellega, mis sul praegu selle hetkel on. That means you give him what belongs to him. See tähendab, et sa annad talle selle, mis kuulub talle. That you'll be sensitive on the inside what you can do to bless others around you. Et sa oled tundlik selle osas, kuidas sa saaksid inimesi õnistada enda ümber. And God will pour out more and more on you. Ja Jumal kallab rohkem ja rohkem asju sinu elu. So listen, material possessions and money are not what we live for. Ma tahan, et sa teaksid, et materiaalsed asjad ja raha ei ole meie elu eesmärk. Amen. This is not a teaching that, you know, we just need to focus on money. That's not my heart at all. Minu tänane eesmärk ei ole õpetada teile, et kui tähtis raha on ja kui palju me seda vajame. When it comes to the list of priorities in your life, kui vaadata sinu elu prioriteete, money should be far down on that list. Siis raha peaks olema all pool nimekirjas. You know, don't, don't, don't value money more than you value God. Ära väärtusta raha enam kui malat. Don't value money more than you value your salvation. Ära väärtusta raha rohkem kui enda päästet. Don't value money more than you value the relationships that you have in your life. Ära väärtusta raha rohkem kui suhteid enda ümber. Don't value money more than happiness. Ära väärtusta seda rohkem kui õnne. Don't value money more than joy. Rohkem kui rõõmu. Don't value money more than your wisdom. Või tarkust, mida Jumal annab. Your anointing. Või sinu võidmist. Your ministry that God has called you to. Või teenistust, mida Jumal sulle on annud. Don't ever put money above any of those things. Ära pane raha ette pooles nendest asjadest. For me, money on the priority list is way down on that list. Minu jaoks on raha selles prioriteetide nimekirjas väga all. Now I understand that we need money to function. Ma mõistan, et meil on vaja raha, et te tegutseda siin elus. How many know you needed money to get here today? Kui paljud mõistavad, et teil oli raha vaja, et jõuda täna siia. Right, you need money to eat, you need money to put on clothes, you need money to, 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 I don't know, whatever it is that you do in life, you need money. Teil oli vaja riietamiseks, söömiseks, mis iganes muudeks asja teeks enda elus. And it takes money to reach people. Ja selleks läheb ka raha, et inimest on jõuda. It takes money for this church to be able to meet your spiritual needs. Ja koguduse ülalpidamine ja sinu vaimsete vajaduste täitmiseks läheb ka raha. But for me and for you, money should be way down on our list of priorities in life. Aga meie eluprioriteetides peaks olema nii minu kui sinu elus raha üsna madalal nii-öelda kohal. Because there's other things that God gives us that money cannot buy. Sest Jumal annab meile asju, mida raha eest ise osta. There's things that God gives to us that... That are priceless in life. Teatud asju, mida Jumal meil annab, on hindamatud, mida ei saa raha eest osta. And we need to first seek 
the Lord. And when you put God first, when you put the Lord first in your life, then, then, then uh, you know, things are going to change for the better. Always going to be changing for the better. Need alati muutuvad sinu jaoks paremaks. And you might be sitting here or watching today and you might think in your life things are pretty good. Ehk sa istut täna siin või vaata, et äh nii-öelda interneti vahenduses ja mõtled, et mul on eluga päris hästi. You know, things are going well for me. I, I really don't have much that I, I lack in life. Mul läheb päris hästi, et mul ei ole tegelikult väga palju vajadusi, mida mul oleks vaja täita. Listen first, you should be amazed. Kuule, esiteks peaksid sa olema hämastunud Jumalast, that you have all your needs met. et sul on tegelikult kõik need vajadused täidetud. You should be so thankful sa peaksid olema tänulik, that you have food in your stomach and a, and a place to go home to tonight. Et sul on toit kõhus ja sul on koht, kuhu ööseks minna magama. But listen, you need a relationship with Jesus. Aga sa vajad peale sellega suhet Jeesusega. You need Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior. Sa vajad, et Jeesus oleks sinu issand ja sinu päästja. Everyone who, who has Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have the power to get wealth in your life. Sest kõigil, kelle Jeesu, kellel on Jeesus issandaks ja päästjaks, nende elus on jõukus, on vägi saada jõukust. And so we need to live for the Lord. Seega meil, me peame elama issandale. He needs to be our main uh, goal and our main priority. Tema peaks olema meie peamine eesmärk ja siht. That every day we live to be pleasing to him. Et me elame iga päev, et uh, olla talle meelepärased. Now it doesn't mean that you're going to be perfect in life because we're all getting better in areas of our life. See üldse ei tähenda, et sa oled täiuslik, sest me kõik areneme teatud valdkondades oma elus. And we could look around and we see people that are better than us in some areas and we see that we're better than others in some areas. Me võime näha enda ümber inimesi, kes on mei, meist teatud valdkondades paremad ja inimesed, kes on meist teatud valdkondades kehvemad. But we need to understand this. Aga me peame mõistma üht. That we're not living to please people. Et me ei ela selleks, et inimest on meele järgi olla. Amen. I'm not living to be better than you or to outdo you. Ma ei ela selleks, et sinust paremaks saada või sinust parem olla või, või nii-öelda siis sind edendada. I want to live to be pleasing to him. Ma tahan olla Jumalale meelepärane. And if I can please the Lord in my life, then I'm happy. Ja kui ma saan Jumalale olla meele, meele järele enda elus, siis sellest piisab mul. And so whatever level that your faith is at, Seega olenemata, kus sinu usk täna on, I want you to start right there. Ma tahan, et sa alustasid seal, kus sa oled. And then watch God begin to bless you in every area of your life. Ja vaata, kuidas Jumal õnnistab sind igas sinu eluvaldkonnas. Because in every area what you believe is going to determine what you have. Seega igas eluvaldkonnas määrab äh, ära see, mida sa usud. What you believe is going to determine what you receive. See, mida sa saad, määrab ära, mida sa usud selle kohta või kui, kui palju sa usud selles valdkonnas. Listen, if you don't believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins, kui sa näiteks ei usu, et Jeesus Kristus suri sinu patude pärast, then you are not going to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Siis sa ei võta ka Jeesust vastu enda päästjaks. If you don't believe that Jesus is your healer, kui sa ei usu, et Jeesus on sinu tervendaja, you are not going to receive your healing from the Lord. Siis sa ei saa ka issandalt tervenemist. If you don't believe that Jesus is, is, is uh, you know, going to prosper you in life, kui sa ei usu, et Jeesus annab sulle edu, then you are not going to receive that blessing from the Lord. But if you believe those things are true, Amen. if you believe those things are true, you can have those things from Him. You can expect that it's going to be more than enough. Sa võid oodata, et Jumal täidab küllusliikult sinu vajadused. For whatever it is that you need in life. Et piisavalt kõigeks, mis sul elus võib aja minna. So what you believe for is what you will receive in life. Seega see, mida sa usud, seda sa ka saad oma elus. And so that's kind of why we're going through all of these things that we're going through in this series. Is I want to encourage you and stir you in your faith again. Seega läbi selle seere ma tahan õhutada sinu usku üles uskuma neid teotusi. You might know all these things already. Ehk sa juba tead kõiki neid. You might, everything we talked about, you probably have already heard somebody say, this is available to you. Arvatavasti sa oled juba kuulnud oma elu jooksul kedagi rääkimas, et need kõik teotused on meile kätte saadavad. But what I want to do with this series is I want to stir up your faith to continue to believe God for those things on a higher level. Aga ma tahan õhutada sinu usku, et sa usuksid Jumalat nendest teotustest veel kõrgemal tasemel. Because God has been so good to us. Sest Jumal on nii hea olnud meie vastu. Amen. He has blessed us so abundantly. Ta on õnnistanud meid üle mõistuse. And by following God's call that he has put on your life, Ja kui me järgime Jumala kutsat endelus, he will be able to give us so much more. Siis ta annab meile veel enam. 
And so I want to start here today in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. Ma tahaks alustuseks lugeda teise korintlastele kaheksa üheksas salm. Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Teise korintlastele kaheksa üheksa. It says, so you know that the generous grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor. Te ju teate meie isande Jeesuse Kristuse armu, et tema, kuigi ta oli rikas, sai teie pärast vaeseks. Say rich. Ölge rikas. Say poor. Ölge vaene. He was rich. Ta oli rikas. He became poor. Aga sai vaeseks. Why? Miks? So that in his poverty he could make you rich. Et te saaksite rikkaks tema vaesusest. Amen. Say rich again. Ölge uuesti rikas. Rich. Okay, so rich. See ka rikas. Poor. Vaene. Rich. Rikas. Rich. Rikas. Poor. Vaene. Rich. Rikas. He was rich. Jeesus oli rikas. Yet for our sake, when he went to the cross, he became poor. So that you could become rich. This is just, I'm just reading the Bible. You know, people think, well, this is, you know, prosperity teaching. That American theology. No, this is Bible. I am thankful this is Bible. Ma olen tänulik, et see on Biiblis kirjas. And the Lord has provided through his death, burial and resurrection. Seega Kristus on saavutanud selle meil oma surma ülestuusmisega. For the church to walk in a revelation that we can be rich. Et kogudus võib käia teadmisega, et me võime olla rikkad. That we could have, have a revelation of what he did for us on the cross. Ja et me võime saada selle ilmutuse sellest, mida Jeesus tegi ristil meie jaoks. And the church in the world has, has walked in a, in a good revelation of what Jesus has done on the cross. Ja ülemaailmne kogudus on saanud üsna hea ilmutuse sellest, mida Kristus tegi ristil. And that Jesus died for our sins so that we could be forgiven. Et Kristus suri ristil, et meie patud saaksid lunastatud ja lepitatud. And he's given us eternal life. Ja ta andis meil igaves elu. And the church all over the world understands that we have revelation of that. Ja ülemaailmne kogudus mõistab seda ja saab aru sellest ilmutusest. But, but some, in the, in the, the, some Christians have missed the part where when Jesus was on the cross, he became poor. Aga mõned jätavad tähelepanuta selle fakti, et Jeesus ristil sai vaeseks meie eest. So that we could be rich. Et meie võiksime olla rikkad. He became sin. Ta sai patuks. So that we could be righteous. Et me võiksime olema õiged Jumala ees. We all accept that. Me kõik võtame selle vastu. But a lot of people have missed the part where he became poor. Aga paljud ei pane tähele seda kohta, kus öeldakse, et ta sai vaeseks. So that we could be rich. Et meie võiksime olla rikkad. It was done at the same time. See tehti sama aegselt. It was the same miracle of God. See oli see sama Jumala ime. He made you righteous because of his son. Ta tegi, Jumal tegi sind õigeks oma poja tõttu. But he has given you the advantage in life. Et annab sulle eeliselus. So that you can have more than enough. Et sul võiks olla küllaldaselt. He paid a price for you to part. To prosper. Ta maksis hinna, et sinul võiks olla jõukus või edu. He became poor so that you could be rich. Tema sai vaeseks, et sina võiksid olla rikas. And God's will for us is that we would prosper in life in everything that we do. Ja Jumala tahe on, et me edeneksime, võitseksime igas valdkonnas enda elus. Amen. That's God's, we read it throughout the Bible over and over again. Seda on läbi Biibli räägitud. No matter what we do, it is God's will that we do it and prosper. Et Jumala tahe on see, et mida iganes me teeme, et me, meil, läheks edu, meil läheks edu selles. And we will if we keep him first. Ja see ka toimub, kui me hoiame Jumala esikohal. Amen. That's the Bible principle that we see over and over and over again. See on Biibli prinsiip, mida me näeme üha jälle ja jälle kordumas. And we see here that he desires for you to become rich. Ja me näeme siin, et tema igatsus või tahe on, et sa oleksid rikas. Now what is rich? Ja mis on siis see rikkus? Well, you probably have in your mind a... Uh, a number of, you know, if I had this much money, I would be rich. Arvatavasti, sul tekis peas mingi number, kui mul oleks see rahasumma, siis ma olen rikas. But there's people that would look at you, some people in this world that would look at you and think you're very rich. Aga teatud inimesed maailmas vaataksid praegu sinu peale, ütleksid, see inimene on küll rikas. There's always, you'll always find somebody who's worse off than you. Me alati leiame kellegi, kes on meist nii-öelda kehvemal järel. And you'll always find somebody who's doing better than you. Ja me leiame ka inimesi, kes on meist paremal järel. And so what is rich? 
Seega, mis, mida tähendab olla rikas? Rich is a relative term then. See on suhteline termin. Rich is different to every person. Uh, rikkus tähendab inimestele erinevaid asju. For some people to own a bicycle, you would be rich. Mõne jaoks on ratta, jalgratta omamine juba tohutu rikkus. For some people to, to own a car, you're rich. Mõne jaoks on auto omamine tohutu rikkus. For some people to have your own apartment, you're rich. Mõne jaoks on see, et so, uh, asja oled sa omad korterit juba suur suur rikkus. For you to have a summer house and an apartment, you're really rich. Kui sul on suvemaja ja korter, siis sa oled eriti rikas. Listen, rich is relative. Rikkus on suhteline. But once you have all those things, you could still think of somebody who is rich. Aga kui sul ka on kõik need asjad, siis sa võid kindlasti mõelda kellelegi, kellel on veel rohkem kui sul. Because this is your reality. Sest see on sinu reaalsus. But when you think of being rich, you always think of something bigger than you. Aga kui sa mõtled rikkusele, siis sa mõtled alati endast rohkemale, kellel, kellelgi, kellel on rohkem kui sul. When the Bible says rich, what it means is that you just have more than enough for you. Biibli mõistes tähendab rikkus, et sul on rohkem kui enda tarbeks vajalik. And you need to know that God will provide a way for you to always have enough for you and your family. Ja tea, et Jumal kannab hoolt, et sul oleks piisavad nii sinu jaoks kui sinu pere jaoks. And when God provides for you that way, you need to always be amazed and never be surprised. Ja kui sa näed seda õnnistust esile tulemas, sa Jumala varustust esile tulemas, sa peaksid alati olema hämastunud kui mitte üllatunud. But for you to be able to become rich like this in every situation of life. Seega me võime olla sellel, sellel määral rikkad igas valdkonnas oma elus. You need Jesus. Ja selleks on vaja Jeesust. Say Jesus. Ütle Jeesus. Amen. It's the name above every name. See on nimi üle iga nime. It's the only name that you need in life. See on ainus nimi, mida sa vajad enda elus. We need Jesus to become what it is that he has provided for us to, be, to have. Me vajame seda, et Jeesus oleks see uh, uh, vajaduste täite, mida meie vajame enda elus. And if you will obey the Lord and if you'll put him first, seega kui sa kuuletud Jumalale ja panad tema isi kohale, he will bless you. Siis ta õnnistab sind. And the Bible says that the blessing of the Lord will make us Rich. Ja Biibli kohaselt Jumal õnnistus teeb meid rikkaks. Amen. And so the blessing makes us rich. Seega Jumal õnnistus teeb meid rikkaks. If we do what the Lord told us to do, he promised to bless us. Kui me teeme seda, mida Jumal on meile öelnud teha, siis Jumal kõnnistab meid. He already died on the cross. Ta juba suri ristil. He became poor so that you could be rich. Ta sai vaeseks, et sina võiksid saada rikkaks. And if the blessing makes you rich. Ja kui see õnnistus teeb sind rikkaks. What the Bible is saying is when you qualify, he will provide for you abundantly. Seega Jumal ütleb, et kui sa kvalifitseerud sellele, teed seda, mida ta on öelnud, siis sa ka saad õnnistatud. And all we have to do to qualify. Ja selleks, et me kvalifitseeruksime. The first step is just make Jesus the Lord of your life. On teha, on esimene saam teha Jeesus Kristus oma issendaks ja päästeks. If you'll do that and if you'll follow him and his ways. Kui sa teed seda ja järgid Kristus tema teedele, tema viisidel. And that's what it means to make him Lord of your life. Ja see tähendab, et Jeesus on minu issande päästja. To make Jesus Lord of your life doesn't mean you pray to prayer. That's not what we're talking about. Ma ei, räägi, ma ei, ma ei mõtle seda, et kui sa loed päästa palve, et siis Jeesus on sinu issand kohe. Uh, to, to, for him to be Lord of your life? Selleks, et Jeesus oleks sinu issand, elu issand. That means you let him tell you how to live your life at a higher level. See tähendab, et sa laset tal öelda, mida teha, et sa oleksid kõrgemal tasemel. That you will obey him. Et sa kuuletud talle. So that he can pour out his blessing upon you and you can have all your needs met. Et ta võib valada õnnistusi sinu ellu ja sinu vajadused on kõik täidetud. And we can prosper in life. Ja me võime edeneda enda elus. You know, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Viienda Moosuse 8, 18. And I want to read this out of the English standard version. Ma loen siis, see on siis inglise käsed tõlkest. It says, you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth. Ja Eesti käsus ütleb, vaid tulete meelde issandat oma Jumalat, et see on tema, kes annab sulle jõu. That he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers as it is to this day. See on jõu varanduse soetamiseks, et kinnitada lepingud, mille ta vandudes tegi su vanematega, mis nüüd ongi teostunud. And so God has a covenant with us. See ka Jumal sõlmis lepingu meiega. And his covenant with us is that we will have the power to get wealth. Ja selleks, et me saaksime vähe soetada varandust. God has given us a covenant to get wealth. Jumal andis meile või sõlmis lepingu, et meil oleks rikkus. And that covenant doesn't change. Ja see leping ei muutu. 
He said it's the same. It was it was the same when he spoke it and it's the same as it is today. Ja see ei ole muutunud. Jumal ütles, et see oli sama siis kui ta ütles seda, kui see, mis meil praegu sel hetkel ees on. And the Lord will prosper you in every situation. Jumal annab sulle edu igas valdkonnas. And you should expect it. Ja sa peaksid ootama seda. And you should always be amazed. Ja sa peaksid alati olema hämmastunud. You should always be thankful. Ja alati ka tänulik. And God made a guarantee to Abraham. Ja Jumal Andis garantii Abrahamile. God made a guarantee to the Jews. Jumal tootas juutidele. And God made a guarantee to you. Ja ta garanteeris ka midagi sulle. If you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Et see kehtib sulle, kui sa usud Jeesusesse, Kristusesse. So the same promise to Abraham, to the Jews and to us. See ka see garantii või tootus on sama nii juutidele Abrahamile kui meile. Was that the heavenly father wants his children to prosper. Et taeva Jumal tahab, et tema lastel läheks hästi. He wants you and everything that you do to be a success. Ta tahab, et sul läks edu igas valdkonnas. That means that we're having fun in life. See, see tähendab, et meie, meil on lõbus oma elus. Just as we want that for our own kids. Täpselt sama moodi, kui me tahame oma lastele. We always want our children to do well in life. Me tahame, et meie lastel läheks hästi elus. If you don't, you're not a good father. Kui sa ei taha, siis sa ei ole hea isa või ema. We have a good father. Meil on hea isa. And he wants his children to do well in life. Ja ta tahab, et tema lastel läheks hästi. He will give his children as many advantages as they need to get ahead in life like any father would. Ta annab oma lastele piisavalt eeliseid või nii-öelda nõuandeid, et lastel läheks hästi täpselt samamoodi nagu iga maine isa. But the only thing that, we, that he, 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 he asks of us Aga ainus, mida ta palub meilt või käsib meilt, is that when we begin to prosper in life, et kui me hakkame siis edenema oma elus, is that we will remember it is the Lord your God who gave you the power to get Et me peaksime meeles, et sinu issand, sinu Jumal andis sulle selle väe, et saada vara. Amen. I mean, we, could, we could ask him for the power to get well. Me võime küsida temalt jõudu vara hankimiseks. But I want you to remember who it is that gives you the power to get wealth every day of your life. Aga pea meeles ka seda, kes andis sulle selle jõu, et sul oleks võimekus hankida vara. The blessing, though, is not going to be enough for you to prosper. Õnnistus ei ole piisav, et sa saaksid uh, edu või jõukust. You've got to do something with the blessing that's on your life. Sa pead ka tegema midagi selle õnnistuse või eduga, mis sinu elus on. You have to do the work. Sina pead tegema tööd. So that he can prosper you. Et tema võiks uh, edendada sind või eden, kasvatada sind. You do the work. Sina teed töö. And then he can prosper the work of your hands. Et tema õnnistab või edendab siis sinu kätte tööd. You need to, 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 to do the work to get the results in life. Sina pead tegema need sammud või seda tööd, et saada need tulemusi. That as I work and as I do what the Lord told me to do, I will prosper. Et kui sa teed tööd sellega, mida Jumal sulle on annud teha, siis sa ka edened. And then our needs will be met. Ja see järel on ka sinu vajadused täidetud. And when God supplies, ja kui Jumal varustab, the Bible does not say that God came and just gave them a bunch of stuff. Siis Biiblis ei öelda, et Jumal tuli ja andis inimeste lihtsalt mingid asju. It never happened. Seda ei ole kuskil näha. That, 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 that God just showed up and said, here's some stuff because I love you. Jumal ei tulnud ega öelnud, et näe, siin on hunnik asju, sest ma armastan sind. What did God do? Mida Jumal tegi? God gave them the ability to prosper. Jumal andis neile inimestele võimekuse saada jõukust. He blessed them Ta õnnistas neid, so that they could prosper. Et nad võiksid edeneda. But they had to go out and do the work. Aga need inimesed pidid siis välja minema ja tegema tööd. They had to go into the fields, they had to go into battle, they had to do what they did to prosper. Nad pidid minema põllule või minema lahingusse, nad pidid tegema neid asju, et saada seda jõukust siis kätte. And as they did the things that the Lord has led them to do, ja kui nad siis tegid neid asju, mida Jumal juhtis neid tegema, He blessed the work of their hands so that they stood out among the other people. Siis õnnistas Jumal nende kätte tööd, et nad passid silma kõikide teiste rahvaste seast. So the, the children of God Sega Jumala lapsed can do the same work as somebody else tehes täpselt sama tööd, mida keegi teine and they could have better results than everybody else. Võivad saada teistest paremaid tulemusi. That's what God is saying. Seda mõtleb Jumal, kui ta ütles. That I will prosper you. I'll give you the power to get wealth, but you have to work it. Et ta andis meile väe jõukuse saamiseks, aga me peame ise tegema tööd sellega. Do, ja kui sa järgid seda, mida Jumal on öelnud, you'll, you'll, you'll 
the stuff. Siis sul on ka vägi saada neid asju. God isn't going to show up and give you stuff. He'll give you the power to get stuff. Jumal ei ilmu ja anna sulle tohutu unikut asju, vaid ta annab sulle väe, et saada. And I think this is where some Christians have missed it because they're ignorant of this. Because they, they're, they're looking for, for God to give them stuff. They're praying for God to give them stuff. Oh God, give me a new phone and God, give me a new car and God, give me a new flat and God, give me a new job. Whatever. <laughs> new clothes, new Riid, everything. Riideid, God, just give me, give me everything. And we think that God is going to show up some morning and just take out a bag and start handing stuff, laying stuff out on the table. But stuff is not going to supernaturally appear. Aga asjad ei ilmu üle loomulikult. Uh, uh, people are believing God for, for other people to just come and give them money. God speak to Miss Margaret and tell her to give me money. God speak to Hubert and tell him to give me money. God just speak to everybody, tell everybody to give me money. Listen, that, that's not how things are going to happen. You know, you can't just expect people to give you a car. You can't expect people to give you clothes. Don't, 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 don't just say, okay, people give me things because I prayed. That's not the way that this works. Some Christians think, well, if I pray enough to get a phone, somebody will give me a phone. That's not how this works. But God, God wants us to be blessed. God wants you to have clothes. He wants you to have technology. He wants you to live in this world and have fun. Thank God. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that he loves me enough that he cares how I live my life. But, but he, he wants me to work. And he will bless my work. And cause me to increase financially. And God warns us. Don't forget that it was me who gave you the power. To get well. And that means that God will give you the ability to prosper. But you need to work. You need to go do the work so that God can bless that work. And then he will provide for you abundantly. God promised to give you the power to get well. Jumal töötas anda sulle väe, et saada varava jõukust. It is part of our covenant that we have with God. See on osa meie lepingust Jumalaga. And he has already given you everything you need to accomplish that in your life. Ja ta on juba annud sulle kõik, et sa saaksid selle kätte. And you might think, well, I look at my bank account and I'm not rich. Ehk vaatad sa enda pangakontot ja mõtled, et noh, tore, ma ei ole väga rikas. I still have a lot of needs. Mul on väga palju vajadusi. You said that God has already given me everything. If this is it, then, you know, it's not working for me. Sa ütlesid, et Jumal varustab mind ja ta annab mulle rikkust, aga noh, ma ei näe seda kuskil. You need to understand how God works. Sa pead mõistma, kuidas Jumal töötab, kuidas see tegutseb. God doesn't give you everything in a lump sum and then say, okay, live the rest of your life off of that. Jumal ei anna sulle eluks ühte suurt summat ja ütle, et noh, nüüd ela nii, kuidas sa saad. He gives you enough for what you need now, more than enough. Ta annab sulle rohkem, kui sa vajad praegu. And then he expects you to live every day looking to him to grow in that. Ja ta ootab, et sa paneksid tema esikohale igal päeval, et sa võiksid järk järgult kasvada. Listen, God blessed Abraham beyond his dreams. Jumal õnnistas Abrahami üle kõiki tootuste või unistuste. But it didn't happen in a day. Aga see ei juhtunud päevaga. It didn't happen in a week. Mitte ka nädalaga. It happened when he took some steps to follow God and God blessed 
everything that he did. Vaid siis kui Abraham otsustas teha samme ja siis ta nägi kuidas Jumal õnnistas seda ususammu mida ta tegi. And God blessed Abraham. Ja Jumal õnnistas Abrahami. And the and God promised that the same blessing that is on him I I I give to you. Ja Jumal teatas et see sama õnnistus mis oli Abrahami peal ta annab ka sulle enda lapsena. Look at this in Galatians, Galatians chapter 3. Uh, loeme Galaatlastele kolmandast peatükist. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 I want to read out the New Living Translation. See on siis Galaatlastele 3:29. It says now that you belong to Christ, you are true children of Abraham, you are his heirs and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Kui te olete aga Kristuse päralt, siis te olete järelikult Abrahami sugu ja pärijad teotuse järgi ehk siis Abrahami teotus kuulub ka teile. So what does the Bible say? Mida Bibel ütleb siin kohal? Now that you belong to Jesus, you've made him the Lord of your life. Et nüüd kui te olete võtnud Jeesus oma isendaks ja päästjaks. You are children of Abraham. Siis te olete ka Abrahami järel tulijad. In other words, we qualify for the covenant. Teisi sõnume kvalifitseerume teotusele. We qualify for the covenant with God. Me kvalifitseerume Jumala Abrahami Jumala lepinguks. And we are heirs to that same covenant because of Jesus. Ja Jeesuse tõttu me oleme sama lepingu pärijad. And so the covenant that God made with Abraham. See ka leping mida Jumal tegi Abrahamiga. The promise God made to that man. Ja see teotus mida Jumal andis Abrahamile. That everything that he did would be blessed. Et kõik mida ta teeb on õnnistatud. It belongs to you. See kuulub sulle. And you could believe in your life that everything you do will prosper. Ja sa võid uskuda, et sinu elus kõik edeneb. And if you belong to Jesus, ja kui sa kuulud Jeesusele, then you're an heir to the covenant blessings of God. Siis sa sulle kuulub ka, sa oled nagu pärija sellele lepingule. And through Jesus, we can have a close relationship with our heavenly Father. Ja Jeesuse tõttu meil on ka lähedane suhe oma taevas isaga. And when you when you begin to learn from him and do things his way. Ja kui sa õpid uh, Jeesuselt ja teed tema juhtimise järgi. And this is why we come to church. Ja selle pärast me käimegi koguduses. We come to church to learn, we come to church to be encouraged and inspired. Me tuleme kogudusse, et õppida, et julgustada üksteist, et olla inspireer- saada inspireeritud. To put our faith in God. Ja panna oma usk usaldus Jumalale. To believe that he can still do everything that he promised that he would do. Ja uskuda, et ta teeb seda, mida ta on taotanud. And let me just stop right here. Ja ma tahan teha väikse pausi. Next week we're back to normal in church. Järgmine nädal me koguneme tavapäraselt. Hallelujah. So bring your kids. Seega toge lapsed. Bring your families. Perekonnad. Bring your friends. Sõbrad. Bring bring your city. <laughs> Oma linna rahvas. <laughs> Whatever. Let, let's let's come and let's let's get together as the church because starting next Sunday we're back to normal. Uh, saame koos kogudusena kokku, sest järgmises nädalast uh, me oleme jälle avatud kõigile. I want to see this room full. Ma tahan näha, et see uh, ruum oleks täis. I want to see you again because I miss you. Ma tahan sind näha, sest ma igatsen sind. We need to make sure that we are coming together as the church. Me peame kogudusena kokku tulema. Because there's something special that happens when we come together that doesn't happen anywhere else. Sest midagi erilist juhtub kui me oleme koos mida juhtub mitte kuskil mujal and so it's through our relationship with jesus we get close to the father seega läbi suhte jeesusega me saame lähedaseks ka isaga taevas and then wealth comes when we live our life in obedience to him ja jõukus tuleb siis kui me oleme sõna kuulelikud jumalale wealth is the result of a life that is lived right jõukus on tulemus elust kus näelda ollaks sa jumalale sõna kuulelik and the bible is going to give you instruction on how you are to live your life Ja Biiblis on siis juhis, et kuidas siis elada oma elu. And we can believe God for enough that we can accomplish God's plan for our life. Me võime uskuda Jumalalt piisavalt, et saada kõik, mis meil on vaja enda elus. To accomplish God's plan in our life. Et täita Jumala plaani enda elus. Amen. I want you to believe God for more than enough. Ma tahan, et sa usuksid, et Jumal täidab, sin, täidab su vajadusi küllaldaselt. So for you to be able to do everything he asks you to do. Rohkem kui, rohkem kui vaja, et sa võiksid teha kõike, mida ta on sulle everything you put your hand to prospers. Ja et kõik, millele sa paned oma käe, edeneb. And if you will put God first. Seega kui sa paned Jumala esikohale. God has no problem to bless you abundantly. Siis Jumalal ei ole probleemi uh, õnnistada sind. Because we are all seeds of Abraham. Sest me oleme Abrahami järel tulijad. We are all his children. Me oleme ta lapsed. We, we are his heirs to the promise. Me oleme pärijad sellele taotusele. Through Jesus Christ, even Gentiles become heirs to the promise. Isegi paganad või mitte juudid saavad uh, siis uh, selle pärandi osaliseks läbi Jeesuse. And so this promise belongs 
to us. See ka, see tõotus kuulub meile. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says this. Efeslaste 3.20 ütleb järgnevat. It says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all that we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Aga Jumalale, kes meist tegutseva väega võib korda saata palju rohkem kui suudame või oskame paluda või mõelda. God can do more Jumal võib teha enam than what you ask. kui see, mida sa palud. God will do more than what you can imagine. Jumal võib teha rohkem kui see, mida sa suudad ette kujutada või mõelda. God can do more than what you think. Jumal võib teha ka rohkem kui see, mida sa suudad mõelda. God can do more than what you dream. Rohkem kui sa suudad unistada. I don't know about you, but I could dream some pretty big stuff. Ma ei tea, kuidas sinu on, aga ma suudan küll unistada päris suuri asju. In my life, I've dreamed some big things before. Oma eluski ma olen unistanud väga suuri asju. And God has, has done more than what I had dreamed. Ja Jumal on teinud minu elus rohkem kui see, mida ma suutsin unistada. I want you to know that God can use you and God can, can do things through you that you, you haven't even thought of yet. Tea, et Jumal saab sind kasutada ja teha sinu läbi suuremaid asju, millele sa ei ole isegi enne tulnud. And that means if you trust God, Sega, kui sa usaldad Jumalat, he will go beyond even what you believe him for. Siis ta teeb enam isegi üle selle, mida sa usud. You can believe God to meet your need in a specific area. Näiteks sa usud Jumalat teatud kindlas valdkonnas või situatsioonis. And God is not going to just meet that need and stop. Ja Jumal lihtsalt ei täida seda vajadust ja lõpeta. He's going to meet that need with abundance. Ta täidab selle vajaduse üli küllluslikult. And you're going to be like, wow. Et sa oleksid täiesti hämastunud. You know what I call that? Tead, kuidas mina seda nimetan? Always amazed. Alati hämastunud. Never surprised. Mitte kunagi üllatunud. Amen. I want you to stop and say, my God is amazing. Ma tahan, et sa peatuksid ja nagu üllatuksid Jumal, sa oled nii vägev, nii, nii imeline. And everything that you've done in your life. Et kõik see, mida ta on teinud sinu elus. And everything that you've been through. Ja kõik see, milles sa oled läbi läinud. And you've come out the other side. Et sa tuled, oled tulnud olukordadest läbi. I want you to be in awe of your God. Ma tahan, et sa oleksid hämmingus või hämmastunud oma Jumala, Jumal üle. And then watch what he does to take you from there to even bigger and better things. Ja oodata, et ta viib sind sellest kohast, kus sa praegu oled veel suurtemate asjadeni. Where our prayer was just, God, get me through this situation. Please, Lord, just, I just, Lord, help me. Meie palve võis olla Jumal appi, aita mind lihtsalt sellest olukorrast välja. Give me wisdom here, Lord. I need to know what to do next. Anna mulle tarkust, mul on vaja teada, mis edasi teha. And he'll take you from there. Ja ta võtab sind sealt kohast. And he will lift you through. Ja võtab. And the Bible says he puts your feet on a rock. Ja Bibli kohaselt ta paneb sinu jalad kalju peale. And what we don't realize sometimes is that rock is moving. Ja me sageli mõista, et see kalju kõigub. Amen. And it's going to take us to higher and higher places. Ja et see viib meid kõrgematesse ja kõrgematesse kohtadesse. It will keep our anchor in him. Kui me hoiame enda lootusva ankru temas. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Sellist Jumalat me teenime. And he will bless us when we trust him. Ja ta õnnistab meid, kui me usaldame teda. This is why we're amazed. Ja see pärast me oleme ka hämastunud. If we will look to him in every situation. Kui me vaatame või otsime teda igasel olukorras. What you expect is not what you get. Siis see, mida sa ootad, see ei tähenda, et sa tingimata saad seda. You're going to get so much more. Sa saad rohkem. And when, 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 uh, when he begins to bless us like that, Seega, kui Jumal hakkab meid õnnistama niimoodi, it creates in us a stronger faith. Siis see tugevdab meie usku. It creates in us a greater love for him. See tekitab meie sees ka suuremat armastust tema vastu. Amen. How many love God more today than you used to? Kui paljud armastavad Jumalat rohkem kui enne, algselt? Ah. How many love God less than what you used to? Kui paljud armastavad Jumalat vähem sellest kui... Not everybody raised their hand the first time, so I don't know. Sest ma ei tea, kui paljudel on seda olnud. Maybe we need to have a prayer line. We need to get people back in the right standing with the Lord. Right standing with the Lord. Et püsida ikka Jumalaga kursil. But listen, we should be loving God more than what we used to. Me peaksime Jumalat armastama rohkem kui esimesel hetkel, kui me võtsime ta enda päästeks. Because we're seeing his faithfulness too. Sest me oleme näinud läbi elu tema ustavust. We're seeing him do what he said he would do. Ja oleme näinud, et ta teeb ka seda, mida ta on tootanud. 
He's given us victory and he's given us favor and he's given us health and, and everything that we need for life. Ta on annab meile võidu ja tervise ja soosingu ja kõik, mida me vajame end alus. He's leading us through life. Ta juhib meid läbi meie elu. Everything that we need in life comes from him. Kõik, mida me vajame, tuleb temalt. And it should cause us to fall in love with him more and more every day. Ja see peaks te- tekitama meid suurema armasse tema vastu. And so we, we trust him. Sega me usaldame teda. And this is why we're amazed by him. Ja see pärast me oleme ka hämastunud Jumalast. That the Lord would do it this way. Et Jumal teebki nii. He will do more than ja, we ask. Ja ta teeb rohkem kui see, mida me palume. He'll do more than what you can imagine. Ta teeb rohkem kui see, mida sa suudad ette kujutada. It's just the way he does it. Ta on selline lihtsalt. He doesn't just stop at where your where your, where your your limitation is. Ta ei peatu sinu piiril või sinu selles ettekujutuse võimes. He said, no, I want to bless you more. Ta tahab sind rohkem õnnistada. I've got more for you than what you think. Ta on sulle rohkem kui see, mida sa suudad mõelda. I want to use you more than what you what you can ever ever, ever imagine. Ta tahab sind kasutada enam kui see, mida sa suudad ette kujutada. And when he does, ja kui ta teeb seda, don't be surprised. Ära ole üllatunud. Amen. Expect it. Oota seda. Expect it. Say, okay, God, this is what I'm believing you for, but I know that you'll do more. Ütle, ütle Jumalale, et ma tean, et sa täidad selle vajadusega, ma tean, et sa teed seda veelgi enam. Lord, I believe that you'll prosper the work of my hands, but I believe you can do it more than what I even think right now. Aga Jumal, ma tänan sind, et sa õnnistad ma kätte tööd, aga et sa teed enam kui see, mida ma suudaksin ise oma just teha. The Bible tells us in Psalms chapter 34. Uh, Biibli söödakse uh, lauludes 34. Psalms 34 verses 8 through verse 10. Eesti keelses Biibli siis 9. kuni 11. salm. It, it's, this is some of my favorite verses. See on üks mu lemmiks alm. Says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are the ones who take refuge in him. Maitske ja vaadake, et issand on hea. Õnnis on mees, kes tema juures pelgupaika otsib. Taste and see. Maitske ja vaadake. Taste and see that it's good. Maitske ja vaadake, et ta on hea Jumal. It goes on in verse 9 to say, fear the Lord, you as holy people. Those who fear him lack nothing. Kümnes salm siis kartke issendad teie tema pühad, sest neil, kes teda kardavad, ei ole millestki puudust. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Noored lõvidki väsivad ja on näljas, aga kes issendad otsivad, neil ei puudu mingit head. When you experience how good Jesus is, you lack nothing. Kui sa koged seda, kui hea Jumal on, siis sul ei ole puudust millestki. And God desires for you to have everything that you want in life. Ja Jumal tahab, et sul oleks äh, asjad, mida sa igatsed endalus. That you would be fulfilled in every area of your life. Et, et sa oleks, et su vajadsud oleksid täidetud, igatsused oleksid täidetud erinevates valdkondades. That's what prospering looks like. Ja see edu või jõukus tähendab. That I am fulfilled in every area of my life. Et mu nii-öelda hing on täidetud eri valdkondades. And God, God wants you to have some balance in your life. Ja Jumal tahab ka, et sul oleks tasakaal elus. That you get to that place of blessing that, that you're, you're looking to him. Et ka selles õnnistustes sa hoiaksid oma pilgu tema peal. And it keeps you stable. Ja see hoiab siin stabiilsena. That you wouldn't be leaning from one way or the other, but as, as long as you're looking to him, you'll be stable in your blessing. Et sa ei kaldu vasakule ja ka paremele, vaid sa hoiad oma pilgu tema ja sa püsid stabiilsena. Because we see in the news all the time people that get blessed in their life, but they're unstable. Aga me oleme näinud korduvalt uudistes ka inimesi, kes on saanud suure õnnistuse, aga pärast seda muud on nevastabiilsed. They end up becoming drug addicts or alcoholics or uh, you know, losing all their money. Näiteks nendes saavad uh, narkosöltlased või alkosöltlased või ja, hävitavad oma elu täielikult. They were doing fine. Neil läks algus väga hästi. Then they got blessed. Siis nad said õnnistatud. And they were unstable. Ja nad muutsid ebastabiilseks. They lost it all. Ja nad lõpuks kaotsid kõik. never happy. Ja nad ei ole kunagi just õnnelikud. You know why? Teate, miks? Because they're not looking to the Lord. Sest nad ei vaata issendale. They took their eyes off of the Lord if that's what, what they, they used to get there. Nad võtsid uh, ehk oma silmad Jumalat ära, kui nad algselt olid ka Jumal omad. Or they never had their eyes on the Lord to begin with. Või siis nad polnudki suhe, et algselt Jumalaga. And when you're not looking to Jesus, you're going to be unstable in your blessing. See, aga kui sa hoiad oma pilgu Jumalal, siis sa püüd stabiilsena. And so we got to keep a balanced life. See, aga meie elu peab olema stabiilne või tasakalus. And it will get you to a place of great blessing. Ja see viib siin suurte õnistuste. Nii. So the question is, why did God give us the power to get well? See ka küsimus püsib, miks Jumal andis meile jõu varanduse soetamiseks või saamiseks. Why does God want you to have the power to prosper? Miks peaks Jumal tahtma, et sa edeneksid või et sul oleks jõukus? Well, because I'm special. Ma olen lihtsalt eriline selle pärast. And I deserve everything. Ja ma olen seda väärt. How many know that's, that's probably not the reason? See arvatavasti ei ole see põhjus. That he gave you the power. 
Miks ta andis sulle varanduse saamiseks? Right. He gave you the power to prosper. Ta andis sulle vää jõukuse saamiseks. So that we would have influence to do good in life. Et meil oleks võimekus või nagu mõju teha head inimestel end ümber. Amen. That's why he wants us to prosper. So that we could have influence and do good. See pärast Jumal tahabki anda meile jõukust, et meil oleks võimekus teha head inimestele. God wants you to be the best you that you can be. Jumal tahab, et sa oleksid parim sina, kes võib ealas olla. God wants you to live a balanced life and a successful life. Jumal tahab, et sa oleksid tasakaalustatud või stabiilset ja edukat elu. And he wants you to make effort daily to be the best that you can be. Ja ta tahab, et sa teeksid iga päev pingutusi, et olla seda. And God will bless you in what you do. Ja Jumal õnnistab sind selles, mida sa teed. When you give your best for the Lord. Kui sa annad enda parima Jumalale. Amen. Endast parima. You will prosper. Sa koged edu. You will be blessed. Ja oled õnnistatud. And even though you do the same as somebody else, you will come out the other side better. Ja isegi kui sa teed sama asja, mida teine su kõrval teeb, siis sina edened paremini. Because of the blessing that is upon your life to prosper. Selle õnnistuse tõttu eduks sinu elus. The power to prosper. Selle väed õttu, mida Jumal on annud, et edeneda. You need to know that God is going to give you something in your life. Tead, Jumal annab midagi sinu elus. That will cause you to prosper in life mis paneb sind edenema sinu elus. God will give you something to prosper. Jumal annab sulle midagi, et sa edeneksid. It's not going to be money. See ei ole raha. He's not going to show up and say, here's money because I want you to prosper. Ta ei tule sinu juurde ütle, palun, sinu raha pakk ja et sa oleksid õnistatud. No. He's going to give you a talent. Ta annab sulle talenti. That you can use to prosper. Ande, et mida kasutada. He's going to give you an idea that you can use to prosper. He's going to give you connections that you can use to prosper. He's going to give you a work ethic that you can use to prosper. He's going to give you a reputation that you can use to prosper. Amen. God is going to give you something, an ability to prosper. Jumal annab sulle midagi ja võimekuse, et edeneda. And, and, and you need to use those things and you could create wealth for yourself. Ja sa pead kasutama seda ja selle läbi sa saad jõukust ka end ellu. But you need to remember it was God who gave you those things so that you could prosper. Aga kõige selle juures sa pead meeles pidama, et Jumal oli algselt see, kes andis sulle võimekuse selleks. And Jesus wants us to have stuff in life. He doesn't care that we have stuff. Jeesus tahab, et meil oleks teatud asjad elus ja ta ei nii väga hooli sellest. He just doesn't want the stuff to, to own us. Aga ta ei taha, et need asjad valitseksid meid. He wants you to be able to give away what he gives to you. That, that, that's not what you're living for. Ta tahab, et, sul, et su südame hoiak oleks selline, et sa oled valmis ka ära andma selle, mida ta on annud sulle. That you're not living for stuff. Et sa ei ela kramplikult asjade pärast. But that you're living to please him. Vaid et sa elaksid selle tõttu, et uh, selleks, et uh, olla meelepärane talle. Remember I said that at the very beginning of today. We live to please him. Uh, me tänase päeva alguses juba ütlesime, et me elame selleks, et olla talle meelepärased. And if we will do that, he will bless us abundantly. Ja kui me teeme seda, siis ta õnnistab meid küllusliku. And we can have a full life. Ja meil võib olla täis väärtuslik elu. And you can have wealth. Ja sul võib olla riukust. But you need to keep God first in your life. Keep trusting him. Aga sa pead hoidma Jumala esikohal ja usaldama teda. And when you remember it is the Lord who gives you those abilities to get wealth. Ja kui sa pead meeles seda, et Jumal annab sulle võimekuse, et saada jõukust, ja kasutad seda, siis sa alati oled õnistatud elus. Aga pea meeles, et tema oli see, kes andis selle võimekuse sulle. See ei olnud sinu tarkus, vaid tema andis sulle selle tarkuse. See ei olnud lihtsalt sinu võimekus suhetes, vaid tema tõined inimesed sinu ümber. You didn't just get lucky. Sa, sul ei läinud lihtsalt õnneks. Amen. God blessed you. Jumal õnnistas sind, sul ei läinud õnneks. He out so that you would be at the right place at the right time with the right people. Tema aitas sul olla õigel ajal õiges kohas õiget inimestega. Amen. And then we thank him. Ja me täname teda selle eest. Because it wasn't us. Sest see ei olnud meie tarkus. And we know it wasn't just luck. Ja see ei olnud edu või õnn. For us to have blessing, it was God. Vaid see oli Jumala õnnistus. And so obedience to God's word. Seega kuulekus Jumala sõnale. In obedience to do what he told us to do. Ja kuulekus sellel, et, et me teeme seda, mida ta on siis öelnud. Is going to lead us to abundant blessing in life. Uh, annab ka meie, meie elus küllusliku õnnistuse. And our actions are going to provide the way. 
ja meie teot siis silutavad tee. For us to be able to take hold of the covenant that God made with Abraham. Selleks, et me võiksime saada kätte selle lepingu, mis Jumal tegi Abrahamiga. Because that same covenant belongs to us. Sest see sama leping kuulub meile, me oleme pärjad. When we work hard and when we use what, what he has given us for, for good. Ja kui me teeme tööd, ras, nagu kõvasti tööd selle osas, mida ta meil annud. When you use what God gave you for his good. Ja kasutad seda, mida ta on annud tema heaks. Then God will bless you more. Siis Jumal õnnistab sind rohkem ja rohkem ja rohkem. I want you to be so blessed. Ma tahan, et sa oleksid nii õnnistatud. That you're overflowing. Et sa just kui voolad üle. I want to see you be so blessed. Ma tahan, et sa oleksid nii õnnistatud. That you're just living on 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 the overflow. Et sa elad oma elus olles üle vool. Listen. If I want that for you. Kui mina tahan seda sulle. How much more does God want that for you? Kui palju rohkem tahab Jumal, et sul oleks seda? If I want you to be blessed. Kui mina tahan, et sul oleksid õnnistatud. How much more does God want to pour out his blessing upon you? Kui palju rohkem tahab Jumal valada välja mõnistusi sinu elu üle? I love it when when believers prosper. Mulle on nii meeldim näha, et kui kristlaste läheb hästi on edu. And I am not I don't get you know, I don't get jealous of a believer prospering. Ma ei ole kade, kui ma näen edukat kristlast. Man, I, I, I want to see people in the body of Christ go higher and higher and higher. Ma tahan näha, et koguduse liikmed, koguduse ihu liikmed läheksid aina paremaks ja paremaks enda elus, et neil läks edu ja edu. Amen. That, we should all feel that way. Me kõik peaksime seda kogema. This is not, well, you know, I was a Christian before them. See ei tähenda, et me ei peaks mõtlema nii, et ah, ma olen enne teda kristlane. Why do they have more than me? Miks tal on rohkem kui mul? That should not be our mentality. See ei peaks olema meie mõtteviis, mõttelaad. Our mentality should be let the body of Christ be blessed. Meie soov või igatsus või südame hoiak peaks olema, et kogudus, koguduse liikmed oleksid õnnistatud. And let's show the world how good our God is. Et selle läbi saaksime näidata maailmal, kui hea on meie Jumal. Let's show the world how amazing our God can be to anybody who would trust in him. Näitame maailmale, kui hea võib olla Jumal kõigile, kes usaldavad teda. And you know what's going to help you to keep your heart right in that? Ja kas te teate, mis hoiab teie südame hoiaku õigena selle keske? Every time you're blessed, every time that God does something for you. See ka iga kord, kui Jumal teeb midagi sõja loos või õnnistab sind. That you would be amazed. Et sa oleksid siis hämastunud. You would be amazed. Et sa oleksid hämastunud. Just say thank you. Ja tänaksid teda. Thank you, God. Aitäh sulle, Jumal. Man, I, I, I would have never dreamed. Ma ei oleks kunagi unistanud, osan ette kujutada. That I would do what I do. Et ma teeksin seda, mida ma teen. Live where I live. Elaksin seal, kus ma elan. Have what I have. Ja omaksin seda, mida ma oman. Who am I? Kes ma olen? I would have never dreamed. Ma ei, ma ei ole kunagi unistanud. And God, I thank you for everything. Ma ei oleks seda unistanud, aga Jumal siiski, ma tänan sind selle kõige eest. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Jumal, aitäh sul, et sa õnnistasid mind. That should be the way that you live your life. See peaks olema viis, kuidas sa elad oma elu. Because who are you? See ka, kes ka sina oled. We are only who we are because of Jesus. Me oleme need, kes me oleme üksnes selle tõttu, mida Jeesus on teinud. This is why Paul said, I've already died. Selle pärast, aga Paulus ütles, I've already died. Ma olen juba surnud. He said, for me to live is Christ. Aga ta ütles, et ma olen surnud Kristusega, aga ma elan Kristusega. Right? He said, I'm already dead to myself. Ma olen surnud ise endale, ütles Paulus. I live for Jesus. Aga ma elan Kristusele. He was blessed. Ta oli väga õnnistatud. He went through stuff that none of us have gone through and thank God. Ta läks läbi paljudest asjadest, millest me ei ole isegi kuulnud ja tänu Jumalale. But he was a blessed man. Aga ta oli kõige selle keskel väga õnnistatud mees. He had all his needs met. Tema vajadused olid kõik täidetud. Man, and he just lived for, lived for, for Jesus. Ta elas Jeesusele. He took every opportunity to, to show the world how good his heavenly father was. Ta kasutas igat võimalust, et ta näidata maailmale, kui hea on meie isand. And today churches all around the world are preaching the message of Paul. Ja ka täna päeval kuulutavad kogudused Pauluse sõnumit. My God will supply all your need. Minu Jumal täidab kõik teie vajadused according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Amen. You keep your faith in Jesus. Sa hoiad oma usu Jeesuses. And he will provide all your needs. Et ta täidab kõik sinu vajadused. This is what we have available to us as Christians. Ja see on meile kristlastele kätte saadab. And God wants you to get to a place. Ja Jumal tahab, et sa jõuaksid punkti. That through your faith in Jesus. Et läbi sinu usu Jeesusesse. That is open and up to you prosperity 
in your life. You can prosper in this life. Prosperity is not something we get in heaven. In heaven we'll have all, all we ever dream. Jõukus ei ole taeva jaoks, et ühel hetkel, kui me siit ära läheme, siis me oleme kulastanaval. When you read those verses, don't think, well, that's talking about heaven. No, it's talking about earth. Ei, Biibel mõtleb, et meil on jõukus ka siin maa peal. And so we, we can have success. Seega meil võib olla edu. And all that he promised us. Ja kõik see, mida Jumal on meile teotanud. When we live by faith in him. Täitub, kui me elame tema prinsiipi tärge. You need to live by faith in regards to your finances. Me peame finantsküsimustes elama usus Jumala usu läbi. And I believe that God will supernaturally bless us. Ja ma usun, et Jumal õnnistab meid üle loomulikult. God will provide for us through his plan and his purpose. Ta varustab meid enda plaani ja enda tahte kohaselt. He's got a plan for you. Tal on plaan sinu jaoks. He's got a purpose for you. Tal on eesmärk sinu jaoks. And he will provide more than enough for you to be able to fulfill his plan and his purpose in your life. Ja ta varustab and then we're going to have money in the church. We're going to meet, reach more and more people for the kingdom of God. But when all that begins to happen, I want you to always remember that it was he who gave us the power to get well. He was the one who blessed you. And God doesn't want you to barely get by in life. Jumal ei taha, et sa vaevu tuled otsa otsaga kokku. God wants you to prosper above and beyond anything you ask or think. Jumal tahab, et sa oleksid õnistatud üle kõige selle, mida sa suudad mõelda või paluda. No, I'll just tell you right now, money is good. I like money. Ma mainin ära, et raha on hea, mulle meeldib raha. The people say, well, the Bible says that money is evil. No, it doesn't say that. Väeldakaks, et Biibli kohaselt raha on ju paha. Kuri? The Bible doesn't say that. Biibel ütle seda. The Bible says the love of money is evil. Biibli söeldaks, et raha armastus on kuri. Money is not evil. Raha ise ei ole kuri. Money is good. I like money. Raha on hea, mulle meeldib raha. I like to be able to have more than enough money to do whatever I want to do. Mul meeldib, kui mul on piisavalt raha, et teha seda kõike, mis mu südamel on. And listen, God's will for you is that you get to a place that you have more than enough. Ja Jumalgi tahab, et sa jõuaksid punkti, kus sul on rohkem kui külaldaselt. You need to know what God's will is for you. Sa pead teadma, mis on Jumala taha sinu jaoks. And I want to end today just by looking at a place that Jesus spoke about in Luke chapter 12. Ma tahaks lõpetada Jeesuse looga, siis Luuka evangeelumist. In Luke chapter 12, starting with verse 28. Luuka 12, 27 kuni 28. Jesus is speaking, he's teaching here. Jeesus õpetab siin. And he said, look at the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make clothing, yet Solomon and all his glory was not dressed as beautiful as they are. Vaadake lilli, kuidas nad ei ketra ega koo, aga ma ütlen teile, isegi Saalam on kogu oma hiilguses, ei olnud nõnda ehitud kui iga üks neist. Verse 28. 28. And if God will care so wonderfully for the flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, will he certainly not care for you? Uh, why do you have such little faith? Kui aga Jumal nõnda rüütab väljal rohtu, mis täna on ja homme visatakse ahju, kui palju enam teid, te nõdra usulised või need, kellel on vähe usku. Jesus didn't just say, God is going to take care of your needs. Jesus ei öelnud lihtsalt, et Jumal täidab teie vajadused. Jesus is trying to make a point here. Jesus tahab selgitada midagi siin. He wants us to trust in our covenant with God. That's what Jesus is trying to say. Jesus eesmärk on näidata, et me peaksime usaldama lepingut, mis meil on Jumalaga. Why? Miks? Because he knew all the wrong teachings that would start in the body of Christ. Sest Jeesus teadis, et koguduse ehus hakkavad tiirlema igasuguse teksi õpetused. False teachings pop up all the time. Jesus is trying to get rid of all those right here. Jeesus püüdis selles kohas siin panna punkti, et ei tekiks selle küsimusasa teksi õpetusi. He knew people were going to have hard times financially. He's trying to take care of that right here. Ta teadis, et inimesel tuleb kitsaid aegu finanssilised ja selle tõttudega rääkis seda, et sellele punkti panna. Jesus is trying to get you to put your trust in his covenant. Jeesus tahtis suunata meie tähelepanu, et meie usaldus oleks Jumala lepingul. Put your trust in the covenant. Pane oma lootus sellele, et sul on leping Jumalaga. What's the covenant? Mis see leping on? That everything that I do et kõik, mida ma teen, is going to prosper. Edeneb. If I will remember, that is He who gives me the ability to produce well. Kui ma pean silmas seda, et Jumal on see, kes andis mulle selle võimekuse varanduse saamiseks. Jesus is saying, the flowers, God takes care of the flowers, God will take care of you. 
if you'll trust him. Jeesus ütles, et vaata, Jumal hoolitseb lillade eest, seda hoolitseb ka sinu eest, kui sa hoiad teda silmes. He didn't just say, God's going to give you stuff. He said, he will, he will back up his covenant. Jumal, Jeesus ei öelnud, et Jumal annab sulle lihtsalt asju, vaid ta ütles, et hoia oma pilk lepingul, mis sul on Jumalaga. You know, I think it is wrong for a Christian to blame God when they fail. Ma leian, et see on vale, kui kristane süüdistab Jumala, et oma ebaõnnestumises. But I hear it a lot. Aga ma siiski kuulan seda tihti. Where a Christian will fail financially and blame God. Kus kristlane ebaõnnestub finansiliselt ja siis süüdistab Jumalat. And they'll say, well, why would God allow that to happen to me? Ja küsib, miks Jumal mul laskis sellis, sellisesse kohta jõuda? You know, I, I guess God just doesn't want me to have anything. Uh, näib, et Jumal vist ei tahagi, et mul oleks midagi. When we fail in life, it is not God who failed us. Kui meie ebaõnnestume elus, siis see ei ole Jumala tahe. Uh, it is not God's fault for your financial failure. See ei ole, sinu finansiline krah ei ole Jumala süü. You take responsibility for your own failure. Sa pead võtma vastutuse enda ebaõnnestumist üle. Amen. You can make adjustments, you can get out of it. God will help you through. Sa võid teha muudatusi ja hoidama südant õigena Jumal lühatab sind välja. But it's not God's fault if you fail financially. Stop blaming God. Aga Jumal ei ole süüdi sinu finantskrahissega, ära süüdista teda. God promised us that if we would trust in him, we would prosper. Jumal töötas, et kui me usaldame teda, siis me ka edeneme. He would give us the ability to prosper. Ta annab meile võimekuse edeneda. Amen. And Amen. you need to know God will give you the ability to come out of whatever it is that you find yourself in. Ja sa pead teadma, et Jumal saab sind aidata välja üks kõik, mis olukorda sa oled sattunud. And so Jesus is saying, if God will take care of the flowers in such amazing way. Ja Jeesus ütles, kui Jumal suudab kanda hoolt lilledes nii imelisel viisil. Don't you think God is going to take care of you? Kas sa ei arva, et Jumal kannab hoolt ka sinu eest? Look what he says here in this next verse, in verse 29 of Luke 12. Ja siis loeme järgmised kaks salmi 29-31. It says, and don't be concerned about what you are going to eat or drink, and don't worry about such things. Ja teiegi, ärge küsiga, mida süüa või mida juua, ja ärge olge kärsitud. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers all over the world, but your Father already knows your needs. Sest kõike seda taotlevad maailma rahvad, teie isa ju teab, et te seda vajate. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Pigem otsige Jumala riiki. And he will give you everything that you need. Siis antakse kõik see teile pealegi. Amen. Jesus is trying to get us to understand. Jeesus tahab siin, et me mõistaksime üht. God is going to take care of us. Jumal kannab meie eest hoolt. We just need to trust that the covenant is working in our lives. Meie peame lihtsalt usaldama, et Jumala leping töötab meie elus. And when you find out that God knows your financial situation, ja kui sa mõistad, et Jumal päriselt ka teab sinu finantsolukorda, it'll change the way that you pray. Siis see ka muudab viisi, kuidas sa paletad. Man, when I found out that God knows about what I'm going through, kui ma mõistsin, et Jumal päris et ka saab aru olukorrast, millest mina läbi lähen. It saved me a lot of time in my prayer. Siis see nii-öelda vähendas, nii-öelda aitas mind minu palvelus. Because I don't need to try to, you know, explain God about my lack. Ma ei pea veen, ma või selgitama Jumalale enda puudust. Or complain to God about my lack. Või nurisema, et mul on puudus. God already knows my lack. Jumal teab, et ma olen puuduses. Right? So I don't need to waste my time saying, God, you know that I tried and I failed and I don't have anything. See ka ma ei pea hüüdma Jumala poole, et Jumal sa tead, et ma püüdsin ja ma ebaõnnestu sinna, nüüd, nüüd on nii. And how many know when you start praying like that, your emotions just go lower and lower? Ja kui paljud on märganud, et kui te nii paletate, siis emotsioon aina langeb, tulnud masendaks. You're not masendaks. crying when you start praying, but by the halfway through your prayer, you got tears flowing down. Et sa ehk enne paletamist sa ei nutnud ja on masendunud, aga pärast paletsa seda oled. You just feeling sorry for yourself? Sa oletsed ennast. Man, and then she came and said those things, Lord, and I don't even know why she said those things. Taga tipuks see naine ka veel tuli ja ütles, seda ma ei saa üldse aru, miks ta üldse sellist asja pidi ütlema. Why are these things happening to me? Miks need asjad minuga toimuvad? Listen, no, stop. Lõpeta. That's not what prayer is. See ei ole palve. God knows what you need. Jumal teab, mida sa vajad. He just wants you to seek him for what he promised. Ta tahab, et sa otsiksid teda selle osas, mida ta on toodanud sulle. Don't go sulle. down that hole in prayer. God is saying, stand up. Ära mine seda alla kaigu teed, vaid tuuse püsti. Come on, let's wake up a little bit. Ja, ja, Look what I have for you. Ja nii-öelda ärkaksime märkama seda, mida Jumal on meil annud. I want to pour out my blessing on your life. Stop being in a hole. Ma tahan sulle anda kõik, mida sa vajad, ära ole seal augus. Ja kui me mõistame, et Jumal on hea, siis see muudab ka meie palvelu. 
does not motivate God. He knows what your need is. That's not what motivates him to move for you. Your faith is what motivates God to move for you. And when you're complaining about what you don't have, that's not faith. But when you stand up and you start believing God, faith is, is, your, 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 is the thing that's going to move your covenant provision. Faith is what's going to release the, the blessing of God upon everything that you do. Man, if we could just get the church to accept that, Ja kui me ometi saaks kogudus seda mõistma, it would change every one of our lives. Siis see muudaks kõikide meie elu. And so he's talking about the way that you live your life. Jumal räägib sellest viisist, kuidas me peaksime oma elu elama. That whatever you need, he's the one that can give it to you. Et uh, mida iganes me vajame, tema saab selle meile anda. And don't lose your joy. Ja ära kaota rõõmu. God knows you need natural things. Jumal teab, et sa vajad maised asju. I know that we need natural things. Mina tean, et me vajame maised asju. But Jesus said our father loves to take care of your needs if you'll trust him. Aga Jesus, Jesus, Jesus ütles, et Jumal tahab täita meie vajadusi. Amen. If we'll trust him. Kui me usaldame teda. He loves to take care of our needs. Siis ta hea meelega täidab meie vajadusi. So stop living in worry about what you don't have and start believing him for what you can have. Seega ära muretse selle üle, mis, mida sul ei ole, vaid usu teda selle osas, mida sul on vaja. And you need to make sure that poverty is not something that you ever accept in your own mind. Ja sa pead olema tähelepanelik, et sa ei lase vaesuse mentaliteeti enda pähe. You need to believe that there's always a way out for you. Tea, et alati on välja pääs nendest puudustest. You need to believe that God will always bless you in Tea, your life. Tea, et Jumal sind sinu elus. And even though you might have lost something, even though you, you may have, have gone down a little bit. Ehk sa oled tõesti kaotanud asju ja oled teatud kohtades põhjas. Listen, even if you lose everything. Ja isegi, kui sa kaotad ka kõik. Make sure you don't get a poverty mentality. Siis uh, ole hoolikas, et sa ei lase seda vaesuse mentaliteeti enda pähe. You don't pähe. ever see yourself as poor, you just see yourself as having less than. Et uh, sa ei näeks ennast vaesana või sellena, kellel lihtsalt ongi vähe kogu aeg. And know that you have the ability given by God to climb back out. Tea, et Jumalal on sulle nii-öelda juhised või viisid, kuidas sellest välja tulla. Listen, I've, I've had horrible financial times in my life. Minu elus on olnud kohutavaid finantsolukordi või perioode. And I am, I, I, I thank God for this. Ja ma tänan Jumalat selle eest. But you would never have known it. Aga ma ei usu, et te oleks no, teadnud seda kunagi. I've pastored this church. I've been the same every week. Ma olen olnud pastoriks sellele kogudusele ja sama sugune kogu aeg. Whether it was going well financially kas mul or läheb, bad financially. Kas mul läheb finantsiselt hästi või halvasti. I had some years that were horrible financially. Mul, mul we're, olnud, we're believing God for, I mean, we lost a lot. Uh, meil on olnud väga halbu majanduslik aastaid ja me oleme kaotanud väga palju. Everything that I had was gone in just a short amount of time. Mul on olnud perioode, kus ma olen kaotanud kõik, mis mul on väga lühikes ajaga. But listen, I've lived this. Aga ma olen sellest, ma olen elanud sellel endel perioodil. I knew that God gave it to me the first time. Ja ma teadsin, et Jumal andis selle mulle ühel hetkel. And if I lost it, God can give it back to me again the second time. Ja kui ma kaotan ka selle, siis Jumal saab selle tagasi anda. I lived this. Ma olen kogenud seda endalus. And so endalus. I kept my joy, I kept my faith, and those around me never knew I was facing financial problems. Ja seega ma hoidsin kinni rõõmust ja hoidsin kinni usust ja paljud minu ümber ei teadnudki, et ma sellisest asjast läbi lähen. And today, I'm back at a place that I am not in a hole. Ja täna ma olen jälle kohas, kus ma ei ole augus. And I'm amazed. Ja ma olen hämmastunud jumalist. But I'm not surprised. Aga ma ei ole üllatunud. Amen. I know that this is the way that God does things. Ma tean, et Jumal teeb niimoodi asju. And if you have setbacks, you can always believe that God will prosper you again. Ja kui sul on tagasi lööke, siis tea, et Jumal saab sind õnnistada. Never allow yourself to see yourself as poor or as a failure. Ära lase, nii-öelda, ära vaata enda peale kui vaesena või puuduses olijana. You need to always know that you can come through to the other side. Tea, et Jumalaga koos sa saad tulla sellest olukorrast läbi. The Lord is trying to get you to see that your attitude matters. Jumal tahab pöörata su Your attitude matters, the way that you see yourself and feel. märku, et see kuidas sa ennast näed või see milline su hoiak on tõesti läheb ka korda või on oluline. And it doesn't matter your circumstances. Et see ka pole oluline milline on su olukord. It doesn't matter your race. Milline on su rass. It doesn't matter your gender. Sinu sugu. It doesn't matter your background. Sinu minevik või taust. It doesn't matter of male, female. It doesn't matter. Pole vahetul, et sa mees või naine. 
The only thing that matters Ainus, mis loeb, is if you're looking to the Lord to bring you through. On, kas sa vaatad isendale, et ta tooks sind läbi. And if you keep your, your attitude right, ja kui sa hoiad oma hoiak, uh, suhtumise õigena, God will bring you out of whatever situation you're in. Siis Jumal toob sind uh, olukordadest läbi olenemata, millised nagu on. So God wants you to know that he can supply your need. Seega Jumal tahab, et sa hoiaksid või nagu et varustada sinu vajadusi. God wants you to know that he will supply your need. Et ta tahab, et sa teaksid, et ta varustab sind ja täidab su vajadused. If you'll do things God's way. Kui sa teed asju Jumala viisil. If you'll put him first. Kui sa paned ta esi kohale. And then when you do prosper. Ja seal hetkel, kui sa ka edaned. That you will always remember it was the Lord who gave me the ability et sa siis ka meenutaksid, et Jumal oli see, kes andis sulle võimekuse vara saamiseks. Ja kui sa annad selle au Jumalale, siis ta valab sinu ellu küllaldaselt õnnistusi, et maailm näeks, kui hea Jumal on. Ja let me just say this, because I know that not everybody here maybe is having a great time financially. Ma tahan öelda üht, kuna ma tean, et paljud meist, neil ei lähe finantsiliselt nii hästi sellel perioodil. You know, if you're having a difficult time financially right now, wherever you are, kui sul on praegu finantsiliselt raskem periood, all of us know what that's like. Siis tea, et me kõik mõistame, mida see tähendab. Everybody has come through financial difficulties. Kõik on tunnud läbi finantsilisest kitsikusest. You just need to know that it is the Lord that is going to bring you Aga tea, et issand on see, kes toob sind sellest läbi. Ma ei tea, kuidas. Ma ei anna sulle neid punkte, kuidas. Aga ma tean, et Jumalal on sulle plaan. Ja kui sa otsid teda, siis sa avastad, et tema annab sulle vä neid asju teha. Ja kõik, ma tean, et me ei tõrst Jumalal. Tea, et me võime usaldada Jumalat, et ta teeb seda, mida ta on tootanud. Me ei peaks olema üllatunud, et Jumal teebki need asju, mida ta on tootanud. Ja sinu usk võib vabastada selle õnnistuse, et kogu su elu oleks edus, edeneks. So God wants you to prosper. Ja Jumal tahab, et sa edaneksid. God wants you to live with abundance in your life. Ja Jumal tahab, et sinu elus oleks küllus. The question is, are you going to do your part? Aga küsimus on selles, kas sa teed enda osa. Amen. But if you'll do your part, kui sa teed enda osa, I believe you can live in awe of how good God is to you. Siis ma usun, et sa ka näed ja oled augartuses selles, mida Jumal on tegemas sõrras. Because that's the kind of God that we serve. Sest sellist Jumalat me teenime. He is a good, good father. Ta on väga hea isa. No, ta on hea, hea isa. And I love him. Ja ma armastan teda. I love him more because of all that he has done for me. Ma armastan teda selle tõttu, mida ta on kõik teinud minu elus. And that's just the way he he made us. Ja ta on meid teinud selliseks. The more he does, the more we love him. Mida enam ta teeb, seda rohkem ma armastame teda. That's the way he made us. Ta on meid loonud selliseks. It's just like how how we, you know, we are with other people. Ja täpselt sama kehtib ka meie suhetes inimestega. The more that you're around somebody, the more that you'll love them. Mida rohkem sa oled kellega kui koos, seda rohkem sa hakkad teda armastama või ärtustama. And I know that, you know, man's not supposed to love another man, but I love Freddy. Ma tean, et mehed ei peaks teist meest armastama jutumärkides, aga ma tõesti armastan Freddy. Now, I don't love Freddy like I love my wife, but I love Freddy. Ma ei armasta Freddyt nagu ma armastan oma naist, aga ma armastan Freddy. And the more I'm around Freddy, mida rohkem ma olen Freddy läheduses, and the more that I can do for him and help him, the more he loves me. Ja mida rohkem ma saan talle teha ja tema jaoks olemas olla, seda rohkem tema armastab mind. And the more that he does for me, the more I love him. Ja mida rohkem tema teeb mulle, seda rohkem mina armastan teda. That's what relationships are. That's the way God made us. Sellised on suhted ja nimad Jumal And when you've been there for somebody, through the good times and the bad, there is a love that will develop. And when you know that God has been with you, through the good times and the bad, that He's never changed. Ja et ta ei ole kunagi muutunud. Ta on alati sama. Eile, täna ja ka edaspidi igavesti, ta on alati see sama. Ja ta teeb täpselt seda, mida ta on öelnud. Ja ta teeb enam, kui sa suudaksid kunagi mõelda. 
selle tõttu me ka armastame teda rohkem. And I want you to believe God for, your, for you to prosper in life. Ja ma tahan, et sa usuksid Jumalat selle eduosa sende elus. But I want you to be falling in love more with Jesus every day of your life. Aga kõige selle juures ma tahan, et sinu armastus Jeesuse vastu kasvaks päevapäevalt. Because without him you are nothing. Sest temata ei ole sa mitte midagi. But with Jesus you can do anything. Aga Jeesusega koos sa võid teha mida iganes. You can be anything. Sa võid saada milleks iganes. You can go anywhere. Sa võid minna kuhu iganes. If you will just trust him that he is the one that's going to give you the ability to prosper. Kui sa vaid usaldad teda, et tema annab sulle võimekuse või väe saada jõukust. And when you prosper. Ja kui sa ka edened. Always be amazed. Siis ole alati hämastunud. And never be surprised. Mitte kunagi üllatunud. Amen. Would you stand with me? Seis, uh, those who are here in this room. Ja ka need, kes siin, uh, those who are watching by internet, if you could just prepare your heart just, just to, to, to receive from the Lord right now. Ja need, kes on siin ja need, kes vaatavad internetist, valmistage oma süda ette. I want to pray over, over the, the congregation here, but all those that are watching, you can receive this prayer too. Ma tahan palvetada kõigi eest, kes siin on, aga samuti teie, kes vaatate internetist, uh, võtke vastuse. I want you to know that God has a plan for you in your life. Ma tahan, et sa teaksid, et Jumalal on plaan sinu elu jaoks. God has given you things in your life so that you can prosper. Jumal on annud sulle asju selleks, et sa võiksid edeneda. And the more that you will trust him, the more that he will bring those things out of your heart. Ja mida rohkem sa usaldad teda, seda rohkem ta toob neid asju sinu südamest ka esile. Ja need asjad toovad ka edu igas eluvaldkonnas. Jumal armastab sind. Kas sa järgid teda? Will you trust him with your life? Kas sa usaldad teda oma elu hinnaga? Will you believe that his plan for you is better than your plan for you? Kas sa usaldad, et tema plaan on parem kui sinu oma? Man, he is so good. Ta on nii hea. He loves you so much. Ta armastab sind. He Ülemäära. wants you to prosper financially. Ta tahab, et sa edeneksid finantsiliselt. Hallelujah. Let's just, let's just lift our hands to the Lord right where we're at. Tõstame praegu käed isa on the volu. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Isa, ma tänan sind. That you are with us right now. Et sa oled just praegu meie ka koos. I thank you, God, that you desire for each and every one of us to prosper. Ma tänan, et sa tahad, et iga üks meist edeneks. And we just reach up to heaven right now in a way to surrender ourselves to you. Ja me pöördume praegu sinu poole ja alistame ennast. We lift you up in our lives. Me tõstame sind kõrgeks enda elus. And now we thank you. Ja me täname sind. That you are the one who is giving us ability to prosper. Et sina annad meile vä saada jõukust. Father, I pray that you help us to see what we have that we can use to get finances. Isa, ma palun, et sa avaksid meie silmad nägema, mida me saame teha, et saada jõukust. That just, just the, the, the way that we do our job every day. Kas või see, kuidas me teeme oma tööd igapäevaselt. Help us to see how we can do it better. Aita meil näha, kuidas me võiksime veel paremini teha. I thank you, Father, for giving people ideas. Aitäh, Isa, et sa annad inimestele ideesid. On what they can do to cause more finances to flow into their life. Mida nad saaksid teha, et rohkem ja rohkem finantsse vooleks nende ellu. That you give people opportunities. Et sa annad inimestele võimalusi. To have more and more finances to flow into their hands. Et nende kätte jõuaks rohkem ja rohkem finantsse. That there is an abundance that flows from heaven and we reach up to receive right now. Et taevas tuleb üks õnnistuste vool ja me võtame selle vastu praegu Jeesus enne. Thank you that you anoint your people to prosper. Ja ma tänan, et sa võiad oma rahvast edenema. Anoint your people to prosper. Võia palun oma rahvast edenema. And I thank you Lord that the work of their hands. Ja ma tänan isend, et nende kätte töö will bring wealth to them. Toob neile jõukuse. And Lord, when it happens, ja kui see juhtub, isand, we will always remember it was you. Me peame alati meeles, et see olid sina, kes andsid selle. It was you. See olid sina. You are the one who gives us the ability. Sina annad meile võimekuse. You're the one who helps us. Sina oled see, kes aitad meid. You're the one who blesses us. Sina õnnistad meid. And so we receive it. Seega me võtame vastu selle. And we receive selle. it with joy. Ja võtame selle rõõmuga vastu. We are thankful for it. Me oleme nii tänulikud sulle sellest. We are thankful for all that you do in our lives. Me oleme tänulikud kõige selle eest, mida sa teed meie elus. Because you are faithful to do what you promise. Sest sa oled ustav tegema seda, mida sa oled tootanud. And all of those that might be in a situation today that they're struggling financially. Ja kõik need, kes praegu sellel hetkel on raskes olukorras. I thank you, Father, that they can keep their faith 
in you. Ma täna on isa, et sa aitad neil hoida oma usku sinus. That you stir their hearts right now wherever they are. Et sa just praegu õhutad nende südant ükskõik, kus nad on. That they would remember you are the one that has the plan for their life. Et nad tuletaksid meelde, et sinul on plaan nende elu jaoks. And that they would do all that they can to fulfill what it is you have called them to do. Ja et nad võivad ja suudavad teha kõike seda, milleks sina neid oled kutsunud tegema. Thank you, Father. Aitäh sulle, isa. Thank you that you bless your people. Aitäh, et sa õnnistad enda rahvast. Thank you that you give them the ability to make finances flow. Aitäh, et sa annad neile võimekuse panna finansid voolema. And Lord, give us wisdom with the finances that we have. Ja isa, anna meile tarkust nende finansidega, mida sa oled meil juba annud. That we'd be able to live within our means. Et me suudaksime elada targalt. Because and it, we, we, we know how blessed that we are. Et me teaksime, kui õnnistatud me juba oleme. Et me oleme nii õnnistatud, et me võime elada selles riigis. Aitäh sulle, isa. Nende õnnistuste eest, mida sa juba meile annud oled. Ja me palume, et sa õnnistaksid ja varustaksid meid veelgi enam. Et me võiksime näidata maailmale, kui hea sa oled. Thank you for it in Jesus name. Ai täh sulle sellest Jeesuse nimel. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm sure most of you have seen in the news over the past week everything that's happening in Israel. Ma usun, et paljud teist on näinud möödunud nädalal, mis Iisraelis toimub. How daily there's hundreds of rockets being shot into their cities to kill their people. Kuidas päevast päeva saadetakse sadu rakette selle iisraelaste hävitamiseks. And, you know, thank God for the technology they have and for the defense systems that they have, or else there would be a whole lot of dead people. Suur tänu Jumalale selle raketi tõrjasüsteemi ja nende erinevate julgeoleku vahendite tõttu, mida Jumal on annud neile, sest muidu oleks see surma määr palju suurem. Aga praegu selle hetkel on väga paljud inimesed seal hirmus. Ja on tõeline vaenane, kes püüab neid ära pühkida. Ja piibis öeldakse, me peaksime Iisraeli pärast palvetama. Ja ma tahan, et me ühiselt ühendame oma usu praegu. Ma usun, et te kõik olete palvetanud Iisraeli pärast selle nädalal. Aga ma usun, et midagi väelist toimub, kui me ühiselt tuleme kokku, et palvetada. And that we can release something. And with the rest of the world who's praying today, we can help release something upon that country. Et koos üleilmse kogudusega me saame vabastada praegu välja midagi. And so if, if you would just stretch out your hand just as a sign of faith. Et tõsta oma käsi lihtsalt usu, usumärgiks. And let's pray together. Ja palvetame ühiselt. Father, I thank you so much for your love for the people of Israel. Ma tänan sind Jumal sinu armastuse eest enda rahva vastu Iisraelis. And Lord, we stand with Israel today. Ja me seisame praegu Iisraeli eest. We thank you that your hand of protection. Ja me täname, et sinu käsi is over those people. On üle nende inimeste. Over that region. Üle selle regioni. And we pray for peace. Ja me palume rahu. We pray for peace in that area. Me palume rahu selles piirkonda. That the rockets would stop in Jesus name. Et raketid lõppeksid Jeesuse Kristuse nimel. We stand with Christians all over the world. Ja me seisame kristlastega üle kogu maailma. And we pray for peace. Ja palume rahu. We pray for prosperity of Israel. Me palume edu Iisraeli rahvale. We pray for your blessing to fall down upon your people. Me palume, et sinu õnnistus langeks selle rahva peale. May they experience and see your love. Las nad kogevad ja näevad sinu armastust ise. Lord Jesus, may their eyes be open to see you. Jeesus, ma palun, et sa avaksid nende silmad nägema sind. Et sa oled Messias. Sa oled Jahve. Ja ma tänan isa, et suur ärkamine juudi rahva seas. Et inimesed tulevad usku Jeesusse Kristusesse rohkem kui kunagi enne ajalus. Et see võrd on kõrgemalt. Ja et maailm valmistub selleks viimaseks suureks ärkamiseks, kus me näeme jumal, et sa teed suur ja vägevaid asja läbi üle kogu maailma. Me usume, et sa teed seda ka siin, meie Eestis. Aitäh sulle isa. 
is available to us. Ja aitäh sul ei saa, et sinu õnnistus on meile kätte saadab. But we pray Lord that your blessing would be on Israel this morning. Aga me palume, et täna sel hommikul oleks sinu õnnistus kogetav Israel üle. Bless those people. Õnnistame neid rahvaid. Bless those rahvast. people. Õnnistame seda rahvast. Bless those people. Õnnista seda rahvast. Protect your people. Kaitse enda rahvast. Let peace be restored once again. Las rahu saab taas rajatud sellesse kohta. Give wisdom to Benjamin Netanyahu. Anna Netanyahule tarkust. Thank you. Täna on siin isa. Thank you. Aitäh sulle, Jumal. Thank you, Lord. Aitäh sulle, isand. Thank you, Lord. Aitäh sulle, isand. We believe. Me usume. We believe it will end soon. Me usume, et see lõpeb peagi. Jesus name. Jeesuse Kristuse nimel. Amen. 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 Halleluja. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Suure aitäh, et sa olid täna meiega siin. I want you to know that as your pastor I love you. Tea, et pastorin ma väga armastan sind. Can't wait to see you and your families back here next week. Ja ma ootan ka neid, kes ei ole täna siin meiega ja te peresid. Our children's church is going to be open. Meie lastekiri kavatakse. Everything's going to be back to normal. Ja kõik normaliseerub. And I'm ready to have you come back. Ja ma nii ootan teid tagasi. We're waiting for you. Me ootame teid. But all of those who are here. Aga ka kõik need, kes on siin. So thankful that you you are continuing to connect with us. Ma olen nii tänulik, et te olete ühenduses meiega. Because we couldn't do what we do without you. Sest me ei saaks seda teha, mida me teeme teiete. We need one another. Me vajame üks teist. Amen. Amen. So I want you to know I'm I'm thankful to be the pastor of this church in this crazy season that we're in. Ma tahan, et te teaksid, et ma olen tänulik ja ma saan olla teie pastor selle hulumeelsel perioodil. Ja ma tahan, et te ka teaksite, et Jumal armastab teid. Jumal tahab kanda teie eest hoolt ja anda teile edu igasevalt korras. Ja pidage meeles, et Jeesus Kristus tuleb varsti tagasi. Ja meil on üks töö ees. Rääkida maailmale, kui head on. Ja mida ta on teinud. Et nemad samuti võiksid meiega koos taevasse tulla. Teeme oma tööd hästi. Seega Jumal õniste, kui sind ei olgu sul imeline nädal. Ja näeme juba konapäeval.